Freedom Daily News. Trump just busted most dangerous secret agent yet in WH, here's what he walked in on. Ever since Trump got elected as president, there's been no shortage of Republican traitors working behind the scenes to bring him down. Our suspicions about House Speaker Paul Ryan were confirmed several days ago, after WikiLeaks exposed how he was one of six Republicans that Hillary bought off in order to form an alliance against Trump. Now breaking reports are confirming that Paul Ryan is leading an active coup against our president at the White House, after unbelievable leak came from the White House by an insider on Thursday. If you're not familiar with Paul Ryan's antics over the past several months, here's a quick recap. Several days ago, WikiLeaks discovered a series of emails on Huma Aden's computer. Only identify document 1,078,645. At the emails, it was revealed how six Republican traders have been actively working with Hillary to get Trump removed from office, as she's been buying them off with funds straight from her Clinton Foundation. In addition to Paul Ryan being one of the traders named, Hillary has also been patting the pockets of John McCain, Lindsey Graham, Jeb Bush, Carly Fiorina, and John Kosinch, buying their alliance against Trump. He is on board, will retract the invitation to speak. Eyes only, one of the emails read that was sent to Paul Ryan. The email was dated days before Paul Ryan oddly went back on his promise to help Donald Trump speak at an event in Wisconsin. Along with Paul Ryan's outrageous slandering of our president where he publicly lambasted Trump while siding with Antifa terrorists following the Charlottesville incident, we're now learning that Ryan is actively working with liberals and doing everything in his power to prevent President Trump's wall from being built, in an effort to destroy Trump's chances of winning in 2020, as Trump's promise for the wall was the central platform of his campaign. As Ryan goes back on the promise he made in December of last year to support the president's agenda, now a White House insider is reveals that Ryan is working with D.C. Democrats to get the government shut down over the building of Trump's border wall, knowing a government shutdown will cast Trump in horrible light. Alert, at Real Donald Trump Paul Ryan is colluding W. Dems to shut down Gov over building the wall, Republican Paul Nehlen based it out on Twitter. While we've known there's been many Republican traders working behind the scenes to undermine Trump since the day he took office, it still comes as a shock that someone with the political prominence of Paul Ryan would sabotage a Republican president in such a treasonous way. A possible explanation for Ryan's antics is because he knows full well that should Trump and the vice president be impeached, he'd be America's next commander-in-chief, as the Speaker of the House is the third in line of succession. It's becoming crystal clear that these elected officials such as Paul Ryan do not have the interests of the American people in mind, but are only acting out of their own selfish political ambitions. Ryan better watch himself however, because he's flirting with full-blown treason against our president. Subversion of a sitting president by attempting to overthrow the United States government is a serious federal crime as spelled out in 18 U.S. Code Section 2385 and is punishable by 20 years in prison. Republicans currently control the House, the Senate, and the executive branch. It should be a historic period in time right now for conservatives to finally take back our country after eight years of Barack Hussein Obama taking a sledgehammer to America. But thanks to selfish traitors like Paul Ryan blocking Trump's agenda and working with liberals, we'll continue to see ongoing gridlocks in Washington, D.C., and Trump's campaign promises due to no fault of his own will not be kept. These traitors will simply bide their time until the 2020 election and then join liberals to point the finger at Trump saying he failed to fulfill his promises, as he never built the wall or repealed Obamacare.